Hey guys, we are going to rewrite these exponents that are fractions in radical form. And then we're gonna write these radicals and turn them into fractional exponents. Are you excited? Okay, there's just a couple things I wanted to remind you of very quickly, okay? When we're working with square roots, so when we have like the square root of nine, that's asking me what number times itself gives me nine, right? So my answer is three. Then you'll see somewhere there's numbers here like this, right? So like the cubed root of eight, they're asking what number times itself three times gives me eight, which would be two, right? Because two times two times two is eight. So when you see a square root, there is really a two here. We just, we don't normally write it. You will be seeing some here and they'll kind of disappear because that's how we normally write it. So I just wanted you to be aware of that, okay? Another thing is when a number doesn't have an exponent, it really has an exponent of one, right? So 10 would be the same as 10 to the first power, okay? So there's just some quick reminders before we start doing these problems, okay? Here is the rule I am going off of, okay? When you have a number or a variable such as a to the power of m over n, that is the same thing as the nth root of a to the m power. Okay, now let's do it with some numbers because sometimes it's like that is a lot of letters, right? So following this, I have x to the one half power, okay? So following this, this would show that my denominator goes on the outside of my square root, right? Or my radical, I should say. They're not all square roots of my radical. And the top number, the numerator, becomes the exponent on that number under there. Okay, so that is my answer, but to write it in a way we're more used to seeing it, I don't need to write that too, right? I can just have it be the square root of x because I don't have to write to the first power, okay? So x to the one half is the same as the square root of x, okay? Now let's go ahead and do it again. So this y to the four third power, four thirds power, will be rewritten as the cubed root of y to the fourth power. Okay, feeling okay about this? All right, this one, the, the rad, sorry, <laughs> the exponent applies to the w, not the two, okay? If it were to apply to the two, it would have parentheses like this example down here, okay? So the two is just kind of off by itself. So we're going to have the two out front, okay? And then, the exponent applies to the w. So it will end up being the fourth root of w to the third power. Okay, we feeling okay about this? If you're starting to feel okay, like, ooh, I think I'm getting this, maybe pause it, do it, and then make sure we get the same answer, okay? All right, this one, the exponent applies to both because of those parentheses, okay? So I'm going to write both the nine and the z under the radical, okay? So it's going to be the third, the third root or the cubed root of nine z squared. And we want to make sure the squared goes to the nine and the z. So we're going to use those parentheses again. Okay. If I were just to write nine z squared, the squared would only go to the z. So that's why I put those parentheses. Now this could be your answer or if your teacher wants you to simplify it even more, the squared goes to both the nine and the z. So we could also write this as the cubed root of nine squared, which is 81. And then we have the z squared. Okay, hopefully that made sense. Okay, now we're going to go the other way. Okay, so we're going from a radical to a fractional exponent. Okay, so the fourth root of r to the third power is going to be r to the three-fourths power, right? Okay, this one, I just said k. Okay. <laughs> You're like, k doesn't have an exponent, but remember, we said if there isn't an exponent, there's really a one there. We just don't write it every time, right? So if I convert this one, it's going to be k to the one-seventh power, 
okay? Now this one is similar to this one where the three is just kind of off on its lonesome, right? It's just kind of out front. So we're going to have the three out front and then we've got S to the third and this is a square root, right? So there's really a two here. Again, we just don't always write it. So this is going to end up being three times S to the two thirds, nope, three halves power. <laughs> I wrote that wrong, guys. It is 3s to the 3 halves power, okay? All right, last one. Again, just like over here, the, the cubed applies to the 3 and the b because of those parentheses, okay? So it's going to be 3b to the 3 fifths power, okay? All right, I hope this made sense. Thanks, bye.